Bellevue, Nebraska, right outside of Omaha. All right. Um, were there any drills in the uh, 60s that you did uh, that we don't do today? Um, we had the Cold War drill, where if we were bombed, we would be instructed to get underneath our desks. And are you aware of any of the drills that we do today in school that you did not do? You're taught about gun, about how to protect yourself against guns, which we never had a problem with in school. The civil rights movement was predominant in the 60s. Did you see any marches or protests when you were a kid? Yes, there were massive protests in Omaha. And um, you couldn't go to certain parts of town without, um, if you stopped at a stoplight, you could be pulled out of your car and murdered or beat up. And so there were just, um, the riots, um, they were they were fighting for injustice, but um, it was just a scary period of time. And um, I had family members that were very prejudiced. And um, at seven years old, I knew, well, when I was seven, the first black family moved to town. And, the townspeople were very upset. And I can remember being in a home with a bunch of family friends and they were all discussing it. And my dad said if a black person moved on our street, that, um, he would move. And at that age, I knew that, that was wrong. What was it like watching the moon landing as a kid? Um, but I can remember um, when the first space shuttles lifted off that we all gathered together in the gym and got to watch it on TV. Uh, it was quite a momental, momentous moment. What bands and artists were coming out in the 60s and what type of music did they play? Um, there was a lot of, well, there was the Beatles and um, Barry McGuire was really big at singing protest songs for the war, and so was Bob Dylan. And, um, so there were a lot of protesting songs that um, are relevant today, because mm -hmm. I've gone back to revisit them, and they're, they're so relevant for even today. How did joining the military during the 60s differ from joining the military today? Vietnam War, um, entering, entering the service was different. Like, if you were in high school and you were a juvenile delinquent or you just kept breaking laws and, and didn't learn, they would just ship you off to be in the service and let the service straighten you up. They didn't want to have to be drafted into the war. Um, People hated the war back then, and they didn't call it a war, they called it a police action. We, we protested for the right to vote at 18, and we protested for the right to drink at 18, because if you're going to send us off, off to war, why shouldn't we be able to do adult things? What were party lines, and how do they differ from today's technology? Oh, they we had party lines, and... Um, our personal party line we shared with two other families. And um, so you'd pick up the phone. If someone was talking, you hung up the phone and waited till they got off. Um, but the, there were a lot of nosy people that would click in and, and listen in on your conversation and spread rumors in the community. So um, were that, that's different from now, except for social media, you post so much stuff that maybe more is, more rumors are spread than they were back then, you know, because yeah. of what you post yourself and your friends post. Mm -hmm. What drills do we do today that students didn't have to do in the 60s? Today we do school drills that help protect us against shooters. 
In the 60s, there was a space race between the Soviet Union and the United States to get to the moon first. Today, there's sort of like a space race between different companies trying to get to Mars first. Do you think that there will be humans on Mars within the next decade? I personally think that humans in this decade will not make it to Mars. Launch? Yep. Yeah. Okay.